hey everyone wanted to share a review on the Cabela's Euro so this is actually a Miopta Neostar the 8x32 compact model so I have not really used a lot of compact binoculars and I wanted to give it a shot for a few reasons first of all there's they're super lightweight I think this is around 20 ounces they they're really easy to, to just hold with one hand especially for archery and uh, just a small footprint. So I'll put the specs below for you guys to look at, but these are the eight by 32s. So let me show you what that looks like. So it'll say Cabela's Instinct. These are their Euros. These are actually made by Miopta, the V1s. So just super small, easy to handhold. Now, just a few features to look at while we're here. You've got the locking the adopter. I really like that. The focus wheel, insanely smooth. So just really nice, really well built. You can tell that they put a lot of uh, effort into these. And uh, Miopta makes these in the Czech Republic. So this is not gonna be super, super in depth. I'll be honest, I am not a, an expert by any means on compact binoculars and I wanted to show you just kind of what I thought from an initial view standpoint. So the first thing is for me, I have to have the eye cups all the way out. And when using them, they have a very wide field of view. That's one thing I noticed. Basically, they are a little picky on, on I guess you could say it's an eye box, but basically where you put your eyes on the, the eye cups all the way out. So maybe it's the way my face is shaped, but I did want to highlight that. You have to really get your eyes right on them. Oh, you don't see any of that, the black sides, or I think it's vignetting, what they call it. So I wanted to mention that out of the gate, if you're considering these. I don't know if that's a compact binocular theme, but it is a little picky when you're getting them on your eyes. Other than that, the, the size is awesome. If you want to use just a chest harness, you're shooting 3D, you want to use them for that. Uh, hand holding, super light. I can keep these very stable. So really, really good for hand holding. The depth of field on these is, is excellent. What that means is when you focus, you don't have to keep focusing further and further out. That's not very scientific, but it gives you an idea. So very good depth of field, just based on some binoculars I've looked at. Again, very, very good field of view, which is important for archery, or if you're just uh, birding, looking at wildlife. The glass clarity is phenomenal. I've looked at the 10 by 42s, and I mean, these are just super sharp great clarity you're going to be very impressed with these anything by miopta it, it's pretty solid so the miopta b1s the cabela's euro any of those the 10 by 42s 12 by 50s the spotting scopes they are, have a really 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 good reputation so very very good glass one thing about miopta that i really appreciate is they really control the chromatic aberration well so i noticed this first on their spotter if you're all the way zoomed in there's not any of that blue on the edges. Same with the binos. I don't know what they do, but it is crazy how good that they control that. And I like to look at it whenever it's really hot to see if I can uh, find any, and I just, I cannot find any chromatic aberration here. Just really, really impressed with these. The, the exit pupil is a four, and so what that is, you take the objective, 32, divided by the power of 8. So these should be fairly on par with a 10 by 42 in a low light test. I'm going to do a low light test just to see. I'm curious how they, they stack up. Alright, so there's a view just holding my phone up. It'll just give you an idea of the colors. So just great glass, really, really sharp. Here's another look. You can see how those colors pop.
it's a great image. It's just hard to, to tell you or show you on the phone. So I wanted to wrap up this review. So I did not mention earlier that these do have a an adapter in the front or at least threads so that you can put an adapter on. And so I use these off Amazon. So it's really nice if you want to use these off a tripod. And these, act, these actually look really great off a tripod as well. So I also did the, the low light test with these. It's hard to show that on camera. Basically last night I was looking back at just some of the plants and just the, the trees back there and way past sunset I was able to still see very very high detail. These were very close to my 10 by 42 uh, Nikon HGs. They were basically the same from what I saw and I have a five millimeter exit pupil binocular that they did lag behind. Uh, so they, they are up there with Kind of your standard 10 by 42 binocular on low light and that's kind of what's expected as a four so it you're not you're not going to get crazy light gathering since it's not a, a five but it it does compete pretty well and i didn't do a ton of testing so that's not extremely uh, detailed but i did not notice like a huge lag i guess is what i'm saying and so if you're really focused on low light then maybe look at a full size you're probably gonna do better there, but uh, you're not gonna necessarily not be able to see that well with these at low light. So I hope that helps a little bit on the low light. Okay, so in, in summary, I know this is a very broad general review, not too detailed. I just wanted to highlight these and just say, I really enjoy the compact size of these and the incredible glass quality. So the uh, low light test is, is really interesting to see as well. Uh, so as we kind of close, when you're looking for binoculars, I do think if you're going to choose one, a, a, a good full size 10 by 42 is kind of the way to go. But if you're looking for something compact, uh, a few to highlight would be this. I've been wanting to try the Maven B3. It is a few ounces lighter. And so just consider that when you're looking at, at options. So if, it, if any of you have actually used the compact version of these, the Miatas, the Cabela's, or the B3s, uh, let us know what you think. I have been pretty impressed. I don't think you're losing that much from the full size, and I do like this size. So if they were not as hard, uh, or not as finicky as far as placement, I mean, these would rank even higher on my list. So yeah, hope that helps.